morning guys, it's Nick here from MigratIphone.com and today we're going to bring you a tutorial on how to jailbreak your iDevices with Green Poison. Now, to me, there is no real point in the release of Green Poison from the Chronic Dev Team, not the iPhone Dev Team, but the Chronic Dev Team as you can see right down here. Um, simply because it uses the same exploit that LimeRain uses from GeoHot, so it, it will jailbreak the same devices which is the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, the iPod Touch 4th Gen, the iPod Touch 3rd Gen and the iPad. Now, the only difference between this and LimeRain is that this can only jailbreak on 4.1, whereas Lime Rain can jailbreak from 4.0 up to 4.1. Now, of course, if you're trying to jailbreak the iPad, you have to be on firmware 3.2.2. Uh, that's the only difference. So it doesn't use the Shatter exploit, which it was originally going to use. They're saving that for another time. But, yeah, it uses the same exploit that GeoHot uses in Lime Rain. Lime Rain. Now, at the moment, it only works for Windows and Linux. There's only, as you can see, there's three downloads. They've so got the Mac one right here. You've got Linux in the middle and Windows. We're going to do it on Windows right now. Now, Mac is currently being worked on. I'm not sure how long it will take, but they've updated it for Linux and now Windows. So, Mac users, just sit tight. You should be, uh, you should have a jailbreak very soon, I'm sure of it. Whether that's from Lime Rain or Green Poison, you will have one. Now, if you are on an iPhone and you are not on 4.1 and you rely on an unlock, the only way you can actually update and keep your unlock is by and basically this will mean that you have to preserve your baseband and the only way to do that is to update whilst using tiny umbrella um, so if you just google it we might do a video on it I'm not sure yet um, but what you need to do is just google tiny umbrella update with pre or preserve baseband with tiny umbrella or something and basically that will allow you to preserve your baseband and it will keep your unlock for you to then unlock your device on 4.1 because it does update your baseband if you update through through iTunes basically without using Tiny Umbrella. So I hope that's all clear for you guys. Um, I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible, obviously for anyone out there that um, doesn't understand any of this. So let's actually just get straight on to the tutorial. So obviously you want to come to the website greenpoison.com. The link will be down below, and um, obviously you can download it for your respective. Uh, OS, so we're going to do it on Windows as you can see, the Windows tab, I've already downloaded it so we can actually just minimize that and you can see Green Poison's right here, it looks something like that. So let's just open it up, now make sure you have your device connected, you'll see all this terminal stuff and then it should open up the Green Poison application. So make sure you have your device connected via USB and you're on 4.1 for the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 4th Gen, iPod Touch 3rd Gen and it makes sure you're on 3.2.2 for the iPad. That's what we're going to do on today. We're going to do it on the iPad, as you can see. We have the iPad hooked up via USB, ready to go. So let me just go into settings and show you we are on 3.2.2. As you can see, version 3.2.2, and this is on my iPad, as you can see right there. So version 3.2.2, and we are all good to go. So let's just X out of settings right now, and um, as you can see, like I said, hooked up via USB and we have the Green Poison application up and ready. Now this is slightly different to Lime Rain. It basically tells you to turn off your device to begin with. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to hold down the power button and slide to power off. Make sure your device is fully turned off as you can see, unresponsive. So once it's like that, you will need to click prepare to jailbreak DFU. So I'm just going to move this window over slightly so you can see the iPad as well at the same time. Now when you click prepare uh, to DFU, or prepare to jailbreak and put it your device in DFU mode, because that's what you will need to do, um, it will run down a little counter telling you the, the actual steps. So basically all you need to do is, it will tell you this anyway, but I'm going to show you, you will have to hold down the power button for I think it's two seconds, and then the power and home button for I'm not sure, something like five seconds, and then the power and then release the power but keep your thumb on the home button for again another 15 seconds so it will tell you this on the application itself so if you don't get that in the video you'll be able to take it from the green, green poison application so we're going to click prepare to jailbreak and it will give us a, a countdown to start and then it will count down the step so prepare to jailbreak get ready to start in three two one press the whole sleep button for two seconds continue this holding the sleep but press the hold and then hold the home button for 10 seconds. So we're going to do that. And as you can see, it does count it down for us. So it makes it nice and easy. And then release the power button, but keep your thumb on the home button. Now, as you can see, I've just been doing that. I've been following the steps 
on the actual green poison application. Now keep your thumb on the home button until it tells you it's ready to jailbreak. Right, so when it says ready to jailbreak and this button comes available, all you need to do is click jailbreak and it will run through the jailbreak process. So that's what we're gonna do. It says jailbreak him. Now I'm not sure how long this is gonna take. It could take some time. Uh, just be patient with it, it will work. So again, big props to the Chronic Dev team for saving their Shatter exploit and then getting to release Green Poison with the Lime Rain exploit. But as you can see, it's running through the process in this bar right here. As you can see, the device is lit up. <laughs> Sorry about the uh, iPad, such a big screen that you can't actually see it and the uh, application itself at the same time. I'll try and fit it in. As you can see that my device is now in recovery mode, but it's still working its way on the actual application. I'm just going to bring the camera back a bit. And as you can see, it runs through some code on the iPad. Now that's pretty unusual to see with a jailbreak tool. Normally it's really complete and it has a boot up logo. Not with this Green Poison application, but again, that is actually quite nice to see something different that you get to see all the code in so it's pretty pretty interesting as you can see it runs through and on the application green poison it will tell you it's done and you can quit so as you can tell guys that was really simple nothing to it really it's a lot easier than a lot of jailbreaks we've had in the past so we are boot up so we can just quit out the green green poison application now and we are ready to go so we can slide to unlock on our device i'll just show you i am still on 3.2.2 just in case you think I'm lying, but version 3.2.2, a bit blurry, but you should be able to see that. And um, we can exit out and scroll over. But I've already done it just to make sure it works. But once you are boot, once you've boot back up from doing the jailbreak, you will have a blank icon that says loader. Now this is basically like you saw in the Lime Rain. You open up that loader application. Make sure you are connected to the internet via 3G or Wi-Fi. So as you can see, I'm connected to Wi-Fi, and um, from there you have to open up the loader application and click basically it's much very much the same as the line rain as you saw in that video the link could be down below to see that you just click on Cydia and then click install it's as simple as that it will then once it's installed you will have to reboot or it will reboot itself and once you reboot it will ask you if you want to delete um, the loader application and then obviously you can delete that if you want or just keep it it's up to you, I just deleted it and it will give you Cydia. Now we can open up Cydia and obviously I'm already jailbroken but I ran through the process and it worked fine and Cydia works fine on the iPad as well as the iPhone and iPod Touch. So there you go guys, a real simple tutorial on how to jailbreak with Green Poison. Like I said it only works on firmware 4.1 so if you're on a firmware below and you rely on an unlock you will need to preserve your baseband by using Tiny Umbrella. Now it works for the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 4 Gen, 4th Gen, the iPod Touch 3rd Gen and the iPad. If you're on the iPad, obviously firmware 3.2.2 for you guys, like as you can see I'm on 3.2.2 on my iPad. Um, so the Apple TV is being worked on, the Apple TV 2nd Gen that is, and also the iPod Touch 2nd Gen is being worked on. The Mac version for this jailbreak is also being worked on as we speak. So if you're a Mac user, be patient and it should be out to you guys very soon. But if you have any questions, any comments, make sure to leave them in the comments down below and I'll try and answer them as best I can. When you get to this on Cydia, by the way, guys, I always click Complete Upgrade. A lot of people ask me that. So click Complete Upgrade and you can you just get everything instead of just the essential stuff. So let that run through it like it's, like it's meant to. And then obviously Cydia is good for you to go with downloading all your packages and that. So it works fine, no hiccups, no problems whatsoever. I recommend you do have iTunes 10 installed, just to make it a lot easier than having a iTunes below that. But yeah, have iTunes 10 and you should be good to go. So that's pretty much it guys, it's Nick here from MigratiPhone.com. Like I said, any if you need any support, any help, just leave it down below and I'll try and help out as best I can. If you want to follow me on Twitter and all the team on Twitter is down below as well, that's probably a much easier way to get to us and ask any questions. But until the next video, guys, I'll catch you guys real soon. And um, have a great day. Thanks for watching.